Hi everyone, and I got here a premium quality medalist playing cards. I found this at Walmart. I thought it was interesting just to check it out. I am not like trying to get like cheap cards. It's just that since I started a collection, I thought it would be nice to have different types other than bicycle. Uh, usually the cheap cards over at Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you go, they're not that great for magic or, you know, if you want to perform any tricks or whatever. They're more for play-like, you know what I mean? So, basically, I, I thought it was nice because it's supposed to be gold. Like, that's how it looks on the back and this is how it looks on the front. This is what it says on the side. It says medalist playing card. The bottom, of course, has a skew and the information where these were printed and made. Um, here's the, the top card and it's sealed. It has a uh, holding little plastic thing for uh, when it's displayed at the store. So it looks better without that, yeah. So I'm just going to show you how it looks and how it's presented. Maybe you're interested. I don't know. I didn't get it from Magic. I just got it just because. I like cards and I started my collection and I just want to have some. So let's see, to open this it has a little, you know, plastic seal that you're just going to open right there. I'm going to see how these cards are. Um, then again, uh, this is not like cards for magic I believe. I have never seen people using them for that. All I've seen is basically I'm just trying to look for something to cut the seal. Uh, I don't have like a little blade or something. Oh, where's my blade? Like usual, I'm not prepared and I don't like that. Alright, the only thing I found was this. I need seriously to get an X-Acto knife or something like that. This is not, this is not very presentable for opening cards. Anyway. Alright, I opened the seal. See that? Just gonna push it in a little bit. So, just have the uh, shape of the box right there so the, the cards won't stick to the seal. Alright. So there you are. That's that's um, basically the box. The box is not that sturdy. Of course, I think I'm gonna just leave it with the plastic on, and I'm gonna put it on the side. And I believe these are not plastic coated, so and they don't feel plastic coated. Um, but this is the Joker, and I'm just liking the Joker. Very different from bicycle cards. I. My favorite cards will be the Jokers when I'm looking into new cards. Um, here's the Ace of Spade, which has a, like a gold medallion in the middle. And that, this is how it looks on the back. Very goldy um, feeling or look. Um, but then again, they feel paper, not plastic. These are made in China. It says H, but a company, I guess, called H and H LLC. And um, let's look again to that Joker. See, this is something different, and I really like that because the bicycle cards—they're not too uh, crazy about changing the Joker unless you're buying like a special edition card. So this is cool. The Ace of Spades is cool as well. Then we got all the numbers. Here's how the Jack of Spades looks. This is how the Queen of Spades looks. I hope you can see that. And this is how the King looks. So basically, it's pretty much a normal deck. 
it does have big numbers then again oh here's the other joker I don't know why this other companies they make the numbers so big but well it's not that I don't know probably their target is for older people or people that has a vision that is not very well and they can see the cards from wherever they're doing or playing I don't know it's just I don't know I, that's what I think maybe it has a purpose behind it I don't know um, well yeah when you're playing you know in a casino or whatever and they put this cards on the table and you have a round table and people is like far away from the cards they can easily see the cards I think that's a better approach for me to tell you why are the numbers are so big right so yeah the difference between these two jokers is that one is in black and one is in red black and red so but I like the drawing or the illustration of this card I really do um, then again they feel very paper like I bet if I do any sh crazy shuffling I will ruin them in a heartbeat um, I don't think let's see how they fan Eh, not that bad but uh, you have to make a little bit of pressure to make them look like that uh, let's see I don't even want to kind of shuffle them too much because like I said they're paper and if I start like bending them like this see how they go bend they can get ruined and I don't, I don't want that I want to keep them as a collect part of my collection and they look quite nice so basically guys I'm not gonna do anything crazy with them because like I said I don't want to just make them ruin this is how they go out in the table let me see if I can make them straight let's see if that works sorta a little bit uh, let's try to shuffle them I don't think shuffling them like in this way would ruin them. I'm just gonna try to shuffle them. So that's what they are for, right? So, oh, let's get that. Let's do that again. Let's try to do this again. Yeah, they're very new, so I gotta break them a little bit. So, yeah, so this is how they basically look. I hope you like my little video about this medalist cards. And then again, I don't think these are like the appropriate cards for basically, you know, perform any tricks or magic. I just wanted to show them because I thought they were cool. And they're going to be part of my non-bicycle card collection. So I hope you like it very much. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.